at TEDx YYC at the Grand Theater. I'm Michelle Sklar, joined by Ron Glassberg, who is one of our presenters today at TEDx YYC. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, you're very welcome. Now, you are a professor at the University of Calgary. That's right. Uh, what is the uh, you know the the topic of which you are often um, you know doing your major teachings? Well, I deal with the integration of knowledge, pulling things together so that things don't remain fragmented, giving people a big picture of things. That's what I seek to do all the time. It's interesting, you know, our, our, our theme, of course, um, at the event is about community and forward mm -hmm. motion. And a lot of what, what we're doing right now throughout the day is bringing together a lot of different mm -hmm. ideas and different opportunities. And, you know, maybe you can kind of, with some of your insight, crystallize some of the things that you've heard um, from some of the presenters today and, uh, you know, kind of give us your, your pedagogy on it. Well, one of the things I heard was there was a person, I think it was Megan, I can't remember her last name now, but she was talking about empathy and the need to feel things and that's one part of knowledge. It doesn't have a big place at the university because as I was arguing what people tend to do is step is actually try and control or master things and that's uh, not complete. So what I keep trying to do is, is actually not just give another framework a wider framework, but actually show how all frameworks can be integrated and to create a complete or total education as opposed to a partial education. So whatever happens at TED is good because it shows another approach, right. but there has to be a key to bringing those approaches together. And that's what I'm trying to do. And I think that's what a part of education is as well, trying to find ways to bring different approaches together and not just say, you do it. Uh, I think people need guidance about bringing it together. Absolutely. You know, it's interesting because we also heard from a couple of the speakers that, you know, you, you, you walk in to, um, you know, deliver this um, major piece of knowledge that you're hoping to impart upon your mm -hmm. students and they can probably look at you cross-eyed going, mm -hmm. I've never heard that before, you're now putting me in a situation where I need to start thinking differently. Mm -hmm. So, you know, taking someone through the ABCs and starting to think differently, what's that experience like? Okay, that's a really good question because you're right, the students are not in a comfort zone, they're scared and at first they don't even get it. So you have to, first of all, be really kind to them. You have to relax them. Use humor a lot. Make them uh, forget themselves. In fact, the key is making them forget their fear, their nervousness. Because so many students come in, not with a fear of profs, but a fear of each other. And the second thing you've got to do is appeal to their own curiosity. They'll forget themselves if they become fascinated or let themselves become fascinated. And so many students have been so used to school as a place of boredom that they don't even know what fascinates them anymore. So you have to ask questions to bring out their inner, I don't know, their, their inner question. Because everyone's got one. Like there must be something that you, for example, really want to know about. And that comes through a discourse or dialogue. So the next thing you do is never be, let them be passive. Always engage, always question. It doesn't matter if there are 5,000 people in the room. You've got to talk to all of them. And you've got to also be ready to drop whatever it is that you've put together for a class in order to let the moment of what's going on in the classroom take over. And that's one of the ways of doing it. It's very difficult, I think, when you're going through um, you know, such a regimented scholastic yeah. system, which we've all been through, to then um, almost have the maturity and experience enough to sort of pull yourself away from that situation mm -hmm. and kind of spin it around and try to look at it a different way. Because oftentimes, I think that it's once you kind of get some of those life experiences yes. that you force yourself to kind of take a stand back and reevaluate. You know, it's, I think one of the things that's great about um, the program that we're running here is that we've invited a lot of students. Yes. You know, and I think that it's great to start mm -hmm. to mesh a lot of these different mm -hmm. experiences and demographics mm -hmm. and that type of thing. And it must be interesting, hopefully inspiring for you, yeah. to see that there is such a mix of people. And that's great because one of the ways to get them involved is to hear not just your life experiences, but theirs. They've all got them. And to bring that out there is to create a community. Because as you share life experiences, you also forget about the rigid barriers that divide them and make them afraid of each other. And they're interesting, and that creates the fascination. And as you know, one of the things that you were showing in TED was how one person can start a big change. Well, it isn't me, it's the students. Once one student, the second student, the third student gets involved in this, you start to bring along the whole group. And even if not everyone comes in, at least a number have, and at least they get involved. Yeah. And maybe the others will come in later on in their lives. But you can't wait about trying to get in everyone. It's only those who are ready, and never try and push someone beyond what they can take. Ron, thank you so much oh, for joining us. Welcome. I appreciate that. Ron Glassberg of the University of Calgary. We've been here at TEDxYYC in Calgary. I'm Michelle Sklar.